All right, testing uh, IR Hunter 35 millimeter. This is uh, 25 yards. 308 Winchester. Number two. One hundred yards. IR Hunter thirty five millimeter. That's my end point right there. I've got the uh, zero coordinates locked in at 100 yards, so we'll put down three or four shots at 100. <coughs> seems to be cycling just fine. All right, recently I bought a Trigicon Mark III 35 millimeter uh, scope. And this stupid eye cup keeps falling off, so I have to glue it with better glue than I used. Anyways, um, runs off CR123As, has an extender that it came with, so um, three will get you about six hours of runtime, I hear. Uh, I like to use external battery power packs so I can leave the scope running, not have to think about it. And so all this other stuff on the side is a brass catcher with the DVR piggybacked on top of it and then all the wires to support that DVR coming out of the video out port. Uh, so what I've done for a external battery kit solution is look the way of uh, TNVC. They sell their thermal rechargeable battery kit. Uh, it's marked here for Trigicon. Uh, I didn't see any instructions with it but it should be pretty self-explanatory. So it comes with an anchor battery pack and then TMVC's uh, 1913 Picatinny reel cradle. Um, has a USB connection here. You can take this part out and connect directly. Uh, for the Trigicon, it comes with this specialty part. This part will adapt in line with this dummy battery to make the connection for the battery to power the scope. So I'll have to take the extender off. I have to take the extender off there, the portion in front of the gold uh, that you can see there, and then figure out how I'm going to adapt that cradle onto my rail with my Picatinny is way up front and that cable is not long enough to get there. So I do have a set of sticks that usually connect right here so maybe I can get away with putting it on top. Alright let me charge the battery pack up and then I'll give you an update once I get everything together. Alright, so uh, here it is installed, the uh, TNVC TRB 
on an IR Hunter MK3. I took the extender off and the adapter for the IR Hunter just screws right onto the base battery compartment. So it had that uh, dummy battery that sits back here and then this protrudes down in and makes contact over right there. Uh, the design, I'm happy with it. It doesn't seem like it's going to pull free at all. It's got that retention uh, clip on there, seems well made. Uh, obviously wire management is a concern. You want to keep that from impeding your ability to pop that cap open, which you have to do. Uh, this is a unit that you have to put the cap down to calibrate it. So that needs to be free swinging. And uh, So anyways, the wire routed through here and then with my DVR mess over there. I ended up putting it on the top rail uh, so that my hog saddle could fit uh, where it needs to fit for balance. So uh, I did notice operating the unit, it's fully charged. It's got a status light here. So it's fully charged, but when you uh, power up, it shows about 5 volts. Uh, for the readout and the LED, the status meter for the battery is a quarter full so it does not register as a full battery in the viewfinder so um, I guess we'll just have to monitor battery life with the onboard LEDs uh, which are quite bright by the way so I'll probably have to tape over that with a piece of tape uh, just to minimize our uh, light that we're casting here. So spin that around. It's well out of the way of the center line of the uh, optics here. I guess my only concern is if this gets warm, which I doubt it, but if it gets warm and creates a halo um, effect, then I'll have to move it. But for now, I'm happy with it there. And then uh, all of these cables for the DVR are routed underneath the brass catcher, which I'm still able to zip up there. And it's just a monstrosity in and of itself. So, oh, and then uh, this eye cup would not stay on. I mean, you just said the word eye cup, and the thing would pop off. So my buddy Brian hunts with an MK3 has been for many years, and I never noticed his eye cup popping off. So I contacted him and said what's your trick man and he said put a zip tie on it because uh, otherwise you'll lose it so there we are a, a very expensive optic with a zip tie to hold its eye cup on um, but overall I've been happy so far with the two times I've gone out with the MK3 looking to get on some pigs soon had to take the little uh, video out plug. It was on a lanyard and it kept ticking when you're walking through the field so I just removed that. And uh, So anyways, the rig's ready to go. 308 Winchester. And uh, hopefully we'll have some video of Hogs Down soon. When he raises his head, shoot. I'm leaving my crosshairs where he is so you can walk to him. 